For the 10th time in 11 seasons under Bo Ryan, the Badgers have won their opening game in the NC2A tournament, and for the third year in a row, they've knocked off the number 14 seed. Consistency breeds success. I caught up with Mike Bruzowitz and Ryan Evans after Wisconsin's victory against Montana. They came out in that zone early on trying to challenge you a little bit, didn't they? Uh, yeah, you know, we, we went over that in practice. Um, you know, they, they matched up, um, tried to, you know, get on the passing lanes, make it difficult to uh, try and get inside and try and reverse the ball. Um, you know, that's, that's what they've done all year. Um, they, do, they do a really good job of it. But, uh, you know, early in the game we were able to find Ryan Evans um, in a lot of soft spots, especially on baseline. And, um, you know, that's his shot. He knocks that down a lot of times. So uh, when he was, you know, he got it going early for us. For whatever reason, teams still don't seem to respect that shot out of out of Evans. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's not an easy shot. Um, but you know, Ryan Ryan makes easy shot. You know, that's something he works on extremely hard on. It's you know, that's some part of his game. He's always been really really good at is, is that baseline jumper. Um, and it's it's kind of a hard spot hard spot to get to, uh, especially in zones. Um, and you know, we we got it down to him, and he was able to knock him down early. Mike, you knew. Offensively, this was a team that relied so heavily on its guards. What was kind of the, the mindset going into the game to take them away? Um, we, you know, we talked about it. You know, their guards were extremely good, but you know, their bigs were really good too. They had they had bigs that were similar to our bigs and able to you know step off, pick and pop. Um, especially uh, the, the big seven footer. You know, he was he was a great. Selvig. Shooter. Yeah, Selvig. Selvig's a good shooter. Um, so you know, our whole mindset was to try and contain their guards as much as possible. Um, and make sure, you know, they couldn't get to the rim and, and, and took away their strong hands and then, um, you know, make sure uh, their bigs couldn't pop off and, and get clean looks at the basket because we knew if, if we let that get going early, um, it was going to be a long night for us. How did you stay in the game mentally in the first half? You got into foul trouble, you only played nine minutes. Um, you know, I'm used to foul trouble. I've had it uh, a lot this year, it seems. Um, but, you know, you just got to stay, stay positive, stay in the game. Um, you know, look at what's going on. Uh, you know, I was trying to help out the coaches a little bit. You know, there's a couple of things um, that I saw when I was on the floor with their matchup zone, um, trying to get guys open to, to the backside of the rim and stuff like that. So you know, I was just trying to stay in it as much as possible and, uh, you know, help my team any way I could. Now, Montana, Montana had a mini run in the second half. They hit two, two threes to cut it to 10 points. Jordan Taylor scored on a, on a drive to the rack, and then you hit a three. How, how, how much of a relief was that? <laughs> Tana straight up defensively. Now Bruzowitz for three. Right side. Got it. Mike Bruzowitz for three. And it's 53 to 38, Wisconsin. Uh, I can't really say what I said on the floor, uh, but it was about time. Uh, it was nice to have the lid finally come off. Um, you know, as soon as it left my hand, it felt good. Uh, I was just hoping it went down I was at, at that point. Um, but, you know, was, we got things going. Jordan Jordan did a great job for us again. Um, you know, he split, you know, splitting, uh, handling the pressure. You know, he did everything for us again tonight, like he usually does. You know, surprise, surprise. Uh, so it was, it was good to get, you know, it was a good team win. Then you got a friendly bounce on that second three. <laughs> hey, I mean, I've only, you know, I've missed a few, uh, and I've had a few <laughs> that haven't had so many friendly bounces, so it's about time one went my way. There's a, there's a confidence with this group, and there has been for a while now, hasn't there? Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, we feel like we got a gritty group here. We got a lot of guys in here that, you know, know how to win, want to win, and, 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 and really just refuse to lose. Um, and we want to continue uh, our season. You know, we don't want to end it, end it in, in the desert. We want to try and get, you know, over the East Coast. Good luck Saturday. Thanks. I'm joined now by Ryan Evans. Ryan, break down how you wanted to attack their zone early in the game. Uh, just getting in there and finding open shots. Um, that was big for us in the beginning of the game. And we want to get out there and play loose, you know, that, for the most part. And, and that was big for us, you know, all the way down the stretch. What were you doing to get open on the baseline? Oh, I just kept moving, continuously moving, teammates finding me. Um, and that's kind of been the story of our team, you know, all year. That's kind of a challenge when team comes out in the zone to see if you can make a few shots. Yeah, yeah, and we got them to come out, and then we went inside and, you know, got them in foul trouble, really, and that was big for the, in the second half. Today it looked like you were the more physical team after playing against the physical likes of a Michigan State and Ohio State. It seemed like you had an edge there. Yeah, I mean, coming from the Big Ten Conference, um, I think we're going to always have an edge uh, regardless of any team we play, unless it's a Big Ten team because, you know, that is the conference that we're in, and it's a, it's a grind them out conference. When you take a look at your offense, it, it seemed like different guys contributed at different times in this game, which is the type of balance you want, isn't it? Um, that's so big, you know, for a, a tournament time. You know, all the guys getting confidence, and uh, and that's going to really, really help us down the stretch. You know, I can't emphasize that enough. So everybody's smiling and jumping up and down when Mike Russo hit that jumper. Yeah, yeah, that's a great feeling, you know, because we know we're going to need Mike. And just like I said, we need everyone going on all cylinders, you know, to, to get, go deep in the tournament. Good luck on Saturday. Yeah, thanks, Mike. For Ryan Evans, I'm Mike Lucas. Join us on Friday for a practice report live from the pit here in Albuquerque. Thanks for watching UWBadgers.com.